Vic, do you, do you feel like the South Carolina game was a good um, warm-up, I guess, for Tennessee? They had that size in the post, and they were having some success rebounding, but y'all were also having some success getting to the rim and scoring, too. Do you, did you like what you saw in that game, and how do you feel like they kind of compare uh, with Tennessee and what they're going to provide? Yeah, so I, I certainly uh, liked what I saw with our attacking mentality uh, at South Carolina. Um, you know, every night's different. Everybody plays us different. Everybody has a different philosophy. Tennessee's going to play some two-three zone. They might play it a lot. So, um, you know that 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 makes uh, what we do offensively a little different. But we, you know, our zone offense has been really good all year long. So, you know, however they decide to guard us, I mean, they can two-two-one you. Uh, you know, with that length, they can uh, trap you on the half court two-three and extend it to half court. They can do a lot of different things, and so we've just got to be really sharp in. Uh, reading that and attacking it and making sure we're, we're being real aggressive. I don't want to be passive. I don't want to be on our heels. I'm not interested in, you know, breaking. I mean, we're really good sometimes, in the, you know, a lot of times really in the open floor when we get people scrambling. Um, Jordan, I think, from her position just really creates problems because she's got that point guard mentality. Uh, five assists, five steals, no turnovers last night. And uh, sees the floor really well. So. You know, you put her out there in the, in the open floor attacking, you better be careful now. She can, I think that's what happened in the second half versus Auburn. You know, we, we flipped her in the backcourt, got the ball and we returned to her and she, she broke it and we were getting some really good looks. And um, she was facilitating a lot of that, so. Well, well and then Dan? Well, with Tennessee having a coaching change this year, just how big a difference is it between, you know, the philosophy and, and some of the different things that you'll see from them? You know, they, they do some things uh, the same. Um, I think, uh, you know, the new staff is doing a tremendous job with them and, and has them playing and at a high level. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of respect for Holly, and, and I miss her in the league. Uh, she was a great colleague and a great friend. But, um, you know, I had to play against, uh, I had to coach against that coach when she played for Pat back in the day. And, She's a great coach, and her staff does a tremendous job and been successful. And so we're going to have to be prepared. They are, they do do so many multiple things uh, defensively that you've got to be prepared for everything they throw at you. And again, because of their size and their length, um, they can create some problems for you if you don't handle it correctly. Yeah, Vic, with what they, with what Tennessee does pose in the post, I mean. With Jess kind of sticking out of foul trouble as she had the last probably week or two, is there anything you say to her in practice, or anything you can kind of simulate, or just is it just a matter of staying disciplined? Yeah, I think for her, it's a matter of um, her using her athleticism and quickness, and and um, and and a little bit of her. Um, you know, she's she's not a freshman anymore. She's deep into her sophomore year. She's been to wars, and so I think she's you know she's smart. She deserves some respect. Uh, because she plays hard and, um, you know, she knows how to play the game. And so, you know, I, I will tell her, hey, you go in there and you be athletic, you be, you be yourself, be quick, um, do your job down there. She knows what that is and, uh, you know, that will be good enough. Um, where we get in trouble sometimes in the post is when we start taking plays off, all of our posts. And so, um, you know, I thought last night we were pretty engaged and took away the high-low that, you know, Georgia's run a lot against us and hurt us some with. So uh, I thought we did a really good job with that, just competing down there. Go, Tom. Vic, looking at the uh, all-time series against Tennessee, obviously it was really one-sided for a really long time, and they even got you a few times when you first got here. But how big was that first win, that overtime win? And since then, you guys have won six of the last seven, and it's kind of all you guys right now. Well, uh, anybody that was in the building that day, it was, we were down 12 going into the fourth quarter. And uh, I, I, uh, we got out of, out of man, we got out of the press and played the matchup the fourth quarter and managed to hold them to four points, got it to overtime and, and uh, won it on a really good defensive play, defensive stand. You know, they had the last shot to, to, to tie and, and uh, we made a great defensive play. And, just seeing the joy on our kids' face that day and 
the joy in the arena. I mean, to finally get that done because it had never been done, um, you know, was was really special. And of course, there were several of, of those types of situations when we got here. And so, each time you take a step and that you know and, and overcome that, it's you know there's some satisfaction and joy in that. And so. You know, I think once we once we broke through and, and, and got through and won, you know, our kids then believe and, and they they've been a part of it and that those same kids that won the first one then started winning. And so it's uh but it's always battle. I mean it is never easy. And uh, you know, we've we've had some real knockdown drag outs with them. I think we beat them fifty to forty one year in the SEC tournament just to just a tough physical defensive battle, um, you know, and, and so we've, you know, one year I think we went into Knoxville, maybe the first time we won there, and and uh, we were in all kinds of foul trouble, and just, uh, I think I had on the floor at one time, Blair, Rowe, Jazz, um, this might have been T, sophomore year, and Katera. And those guys went in and we jumped in the matchup and we caused them to have a little drought. And Blair made three threes in, in the first half and one of them was right before halftime. Katero made a really smart play, flip, uh, flipped her the ball, turned around and screened for him. Blair came off of it high. And so, I mean, I got all these memories in my head about going in there and playing and, and just some shots that are just, you know, really big throughout the years that, that helped us win there and here. So we've had some really good games and uh, I think there's a respect between both programs and uh, certainly we respect them and uh, just like we do everybody in our league. Anything else?